Hi all, welcome to Santa Kilan. Thank you for watching our video. If you like this video, kindly click on the like button and share the video to your friends. Don't forget to subscribe our channel. Particular kind of a system that is nothing but known as the IoT, known as Internet of Things. So this is nothing but known as the Raspberry Pi architecture. So here within this architecture, you can see that uh, this particular set of uh, pins are known as GPIO pins, also called as general purpose input output. And this particular section is known as the USB ports. Here you will be having four USB ports, one Ethernet port, one audio jack of 3.5 mm. This is HDMI supply. And at the same time, uh, this is uh, this particular section that is used to install Pi camera. There is one uh, camera known as Pi camera for that we are using this. You can also connect your USB cam towards here. Then here uh, under this particular uh, section only we are placing our memory card known as a memory card slot. So those are raising the hand you can just uh, post it on the chat box. So the upper portion we will be connecting any of the touchscreen LCD display over there. And Within this particular uh, GPIO section, we will be able to connect all the sensors or converters which are we require. And this is the place we will be provide the power supply. Micro USB for uh, 3 3B plus and uh, C type for Raspberry Pi 4, all the versions. So what is that particular SOC? SOC is nothing but known as the system on chip. So within this Raspberry Pi, you have three uh, SOCs. So one for controlling the GPIO, another one for processing and another one for communication. So for communication we are using the Broadcom processor and uh, for uh, controlling as well as processing the GPIOs everything we are coming under with uh, ARM architecture. The architecture whatever we follow over here it is nothing but ARM 11. So based on that particular kind of uh, architecture only this particular device has been made. So generally the ARM different versions are nothing but ARM 7, ARM 9, ARM 11, then ARM Cortex. So among this ARM 11 architecture only it is being followed in Raspberry Pi as a system, system or with the inbuilt processor. So whatever the chips mounted on this particular Raspberry Pi it is known as the SOC. So before uh, storing OS to SD card, do we need special SD card formatting or we can directly format through the system? You can directly format through the system or else SD card formatter is available. That is also a free software only. You can download and format it. And anyway, after uh, deleting, for deleting your uh, booted one, booted SD card or formatting your booted SD card, you require that particular software only. Else you have to follow many commands in command prompt. So better you can go with SD card for formatter. So once if we have booted that particular Raspberry Pi, we will be able to see the display like this. Okay, so now I have connected my particular Raspberry Pi towards the system through VNC viewer. So this will be our uh, Raspberry Pi window which is known as the Debian. So this particular OS name is known as uh, Raspbian. Okay, so the Raspbian Linux OS only we are going. It is similar to working in uh, Ubuntu or any other Linux versions. Sir, I am an agriculture student. Please try to explain more in understandable manner. Sorry to bother, sir, but it will be easy and helpful in connecting the theory of agriculture business with uh, IoT. Yeah, definitely uh, once if we start from the basics of this particular uh, hardware only we will be able to work it over or prolong towards the next level okay so that's why i have started with the basics of this particular architecture even if you are willing to do this agriculture business with this particular device you also have uh, should have some knowledge on this particular uh, device and only it is possible to promote it Okay, so this is the uh, kind of OS known as a Raspberry Pi or Raspbian OS. 
so this is similar to working in uh, multiple kind of functions uh, therefore whenever we work this particular kind of uh, raspberry pi oriented we have to know some commands over there like uh, sudo pip then we have to go with cd mkdir so this kind of uh, functions only we have to go it and for everyone's kind advice uh, this raspberry pi device cannot be simulated there is no simulation for raspberry pi yeah i will be explaining how the connections to be done to the system so we have to know the sudo pip install so this is one kind of uh, command that should be provided to install any of the packages towards the python okay so in python we have two versions over here one is python 2 and another one is python 3 uh, try to use uh, python 3 by everyone because python 2 will be stopping as soon as possible so if i provide py, uh, sudo pip install and if i give some command over there according to that uh, it will be installing any kind of functions now i will be installing just simply a command okay so after this just provide the enter but whereas if you are using this particular command in your system you have to go for that particular data path from there you have to access your uh, uh, sections or that particular uh, data and from that we will be able to work it in this particular uh, command prompt Yeah, yeah, yeah. Many questions are there. Please don't make this as a question and answer session. Microsoft provides one cloud that is known as Azure and uh, in that it is for just simulating the IoT and with that IoT also can be implemented over here but that is a paid one. Paid one of clouds. So you will be just uh, knowing regarding about the clouds whenever we start to work it over there. And see, this is a basic session. Still, we have not uh, started with any of the basics. So, kindly be patient. We will be going with uh, some vision oriented uh, projects also, some basic applications of computer visions. No, a Raspberry Pi cannot be simulated in a Proteus also. It is not possible. This is not a simulation oriented controller since it require the valid IP address as well as the computer access it cannot be simulated. Okay and similarly if you want to uh, just work with this uh, in python 3 you have to just make a change pip as pip3. So just provide it as pip3 and press enter it will be installing that particular packages according to the python software whatever it is available in your OS okay so since I have already installed these particular packages it will be showing it as requirement already satisfied. And this is uh, known as the start menu of this particular system. So within the start menu, we will be having a number of options like uh, education oriented or we can also create some of the Linux kind of uh, database or Excel sheet. Everything is able to function. Yeah, the paper immortals uh, is just a small package that is used for resizing the frames in Python. So normally it won't be available with uh, python you have to install it separately so that's why to show you how to install a command 
or come uh, install any header file or package in python for that only i have given over there so within this particular statement only we will be having a number of applications uh, this will be uh, not like uh, other kind of uh, devices whatever we go because why we are selecting this uh, raspbian os and raspberry pi one file is there rpi.gpio that particular header file can only be accessed in this particular kind of python else except that particular header file rest everything can be done with our normal python including iot or uh, sending messages sending emails as well as uh, sending uh, some sort of blink app uh, option so this kind of multiple applications can be done uh, without raspberry pi only the controlling the sensors or controlling any of the interfaces from the uh, controller or the command we have to use this raspberry pi so for that we can be uh, we are allowed to do program in multiple modes uh, java even we can do Arduino program also in this particular Raspberry Pi and we can also apply with uh, Scratch even those who are interested to do web designing in uh, Python that also can be done so for that we have multiple kind of softwares over here so for each and every kind of application only we will be using the software and here mostly we will be going with uh, Python 3 okay so I hope everyone have installed the python 3 so within this python we have to know some basics of the python application uh, like how many of them are uh, aware of this particular kind of codings Even those who are just weak in coding also, they can come up in a, as speed as uh, growth in this particular Python. So definitely to work in Python, we have to just know some kind of words only. Uh, definitely whenever we are working with Python, uh, we have to go some uh, basic uh, kind of applications. Especially we have to know the syntax and we have to know some kind of keywords over here. Okay, so for that purpose only, we will be using the Python oriented language. Okay, so let us go with some basics of Python, then we will be shifting into IoT. Thank you for watching our video. If you like this video, kindly click on the like button and share the video to your friends. Don't forget to subscribe our channel.